Hello, it's the weekend. Um, we've got a good chance of rain coming up early this week. I think I'll spend the next couple of days working on extending my soil. This is where it ends here. And I'd like to take it that direction. It's going to be nice and cool today. I'm only going to get up to about 70. It's about 40 right now, so I should be able to get a lot of work done. First step, I've got to map out my contour lines. I've got my contour tool there with the red level on top. I've got my flags for marking it. I've got a shovel, and then I've got a four foot long measuring stick. The measuring stick is there to help me keep my uh, swell consistent. All the measurements and depth and width and all that kind of stuff. Let me get this uh, contour line mapped out. I've got 25 of these flags laid out. It's about uh, 91 feet or so. These are as level as I'm going to make them. Got quite a bit of mesquite and brush to go through. I'll just have to clear it out as I make my way through here. Uh, here's where I stopped. Got a big ephedra bush right there in the way. Um, I'll deal with that when I get this far. But I've got branches laid out 33 inches from each flag. That'll act as the center of my berm. It'll give me a target to uh, toss my soil onto. Um, I've got that laid out all throughout the uh, 91 feet. Next I'll take some of this cactus that's going to be in my way and I'll uh, toss that onto the branches there as well. Um, might as well make use of it. Got the cactus laid out. This is all cactus that was in my way. Next I'll start digging. done digging for the weekend it ended up being about 95 additional feet um, there's my original swell there I left this um, patch of dirt here where my wood chip trail is going through uh, just so I can kind of compare this swell to that swell this one has access to the road uh, ditch so this one may get more water than this one but I just want to kind of see after we get a good rain or two um, just to see which one fills up better. Um, I would guess that this one would fill up a little bit quicker than that one, but you know, we'll see. This particular extension here, um, it was close quarters to a lot of mesquite. Um, I just left them in place as much as I could. Uh, I just cleared out what was in the way as far as the ditch goes. Um, this left my arms pretty well scratched up, but you know that's just part of it the good thing about the location of this particular extension is my wood chip trail it comes this way so I should be able to monitor it from the trail without having to get all in the uh, mesquite there so that'll come in handy 
what I'll do now is collect some native seeds and uh, just plant those in the berm just so that when we do get some rain or uh, maybe winter comes and it needs that cold stratification period, I'll get some uh, free plants coming up out of this. Thanks for watching.